Working to widen Fury's Ferry Road, right now around 19,000 cars every day use this stretch. The project will make that road wide enough to handle all that traffic. Our Nick Veland live out there for us. And Nick, after taking talking with the county, you say they have a new timeline for a major project. Yeah, Richard, they're wrapping up the utility relocation phase of the project and are heading into working on drainage for when these roads are built. But a lot of moving parts are just growing the frustration for neighbors along Fury's Ferry Road. We were the first people in this neighborhood uh, in July 1986 and the streets weren't even paved yet. Danny Collier then laid down roots for him and his family and they grew with the county. Of course, over the years with all the building, uh, this neighborhood has expanded big and it's a steady stream of traffic 24 hours a day. It seemed like it's never ending. And even after building a family in one house, he considered moving away when he heard about the construction coming. Have you ever contemplated just, you know, packing up and going? Oh yeah, many times. And, and, and once this started, I said I'm too late. Now he's here and he has to live through the progress with the road. You know, it's kind of aggravating that you got holes in the yard or trenches in the yard all the time. The road has grown year after year with travelers. The county says that makes projects not only on Fury's Ferry Road, but throughout the county necessary. These projects are, are being built and constructed per need. Right now, the county is just trying to keep up. That growth comes significant improvements needed to the transportation infrastructure, the water infrastructure, the storm drainage, all the all the the needs uh, to expand civilization in the county. Which is why Danny Collier is understanding. The just infrastructure is not there to to carry the load right now, and uh, it's needed, but you know it creates some discomfort for those of us that live right here on the road. So it is what it is. And the county says that this project could be wrapped up as early as 2025, but could get pushed back to 2026. Until then, they say to remain patient and when you're driving through these construction areas to drive slow and cautious. It is